we have a situation. And the situation is, you have a single member LLC. How the hell are you going to get the Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card? Because a lot of folks are being denied. So the question is, we want to answer that question once and for all, so that the next time you apply for that credit card, your ass will be approved. So don't you go anywhere. If you're interested in the conversation, I want you to stick around till the end. You're going to love it. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we have a single proposition. Very simple one. You are a single member LC, and you're trying to get the Navy Federal Go Biz Rewards credit card. So we're going to look around and give you a couple of hacks. They will allow, allow you to apply for this credit card satisfactorily. It's very important because I'm tired of people having uh, always uh, been denied because they have no idea how to apply. First thing first, here are the steps, and I really want you to pay attention. Take notes if you need to. You got to become a business member. See, there is a distinction. There is a correlation between an individual member and a business member, but when it comes to this particular Gold Base Rewards credit card and a business not a credit from Navy Fed, they want you to be an individual member, but also a business member. So you got to become an NFCU business member, okay? So what you, what you have to do, and the thing is when we talk about becoming a business member, you have to apply. So there is a whole process that you have to apply. It's not very complicated, very easy. We have covered this on another show, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. So all you have to do is you have to sign in with your personal Navy Fed credentials to access the business membership pre-application form. There is a form. You complete the form, okay? You put in all the, the appropriate information. Nothing complicated. Son, daughter, I'm talking to you. Nothing complicated. Aunt, uncle, I'm talking to you. Nothing complicated. Dad, mom, you are here. Nothing complicated. You fill out the form and you just click submit. Everything happens in your portal. Now, if you have any question, you can call 1-877-418-1462. 1-877-418-1462. So they'll get back to you within two to three business days. They are really fast. In the last few days, in the last few months rather, they have been getting back to folks like, you know, 48 hours. Yesterday, our team actually uh, applied for a lot of business clients of ours. And they got their their application uh, applications approved the same day. So it's all about the workload. It's all about the um, the level of uh, busyness that they have at the at the NMCU a branch where you apply at. But nothing complicated. Okay. So log into your Navy Fed individual dashboard, fill out the form for the business membership, and you have to click submit. And anything they ask you, they will ask you for a lot of things. Uh, and I will talk about those uh, documents later on in this show, but. Nothing complicated. Step number two. Step number two, and we are still talking about how to apply. First of all, how to apply for this business credit card, but how to be a good a, a member in good standing, right? So tax returns are really important. Your tax returns, son, when was the last time you, you filed tax returns? And when we talk about tax returns, we are speaking about individually, but also business-wise. Don't you try to start playing games on me and telling me, well, you know, I haven't filed taxes in a while, blah, blah, blah. What's up with that? If you are serious about getting this business credit card from Navy Fed, you better make sure that you uh, you have filed your 1040, but also your 1065, okay? Because if you are a single member LLC, you can either elect there's something called election. I'm not going to get into the tax implications here, but you can elect to file as a partnership or you can file as a corporation. So you can file as a partnership using Form 1065. We have covered this topic on other shows. Or you can elect to file as a corporation. In this case, it can be an S Corp, in which case you have a 1120S or a corporation. So there will be a 1120. My point is that when you are actually uh, 
fill, filing out when you're filling out the uh, the paperwork from uh, for for this the Navy Fed uh, business membership and also the Navy Fed Gold Beast Rewards, you want to make sure that you have all your tax returns actually on point. I'm talking about individually, but also business wise, and that's number one. Number two, we are speaking about your personal credit score because if you are a single member LC, you probably don't have have have, have no time to establish business credit. If you have, fantastic. If not, make sure that your FICO score individually is at least 600. Very important. So we're not talking about just individual tax returns, but we're speaking about in addition to your returns, in individual and business-wise, you want to have decent FICO score. Very important. Okay. So 600, that's the minimum. If you are lucky to have business credit score, that's wonderful. You know, my head's off to you. And if you're right now, I want you to dance right now because, because if you're a single member single member LLC and you have business credit, in other words, you have a, a payday score of 80 or 85 or whatnot, fantastic. My hat's off to you. I'm just dancing to, I'm just, I'm just dancing for you right now. Very important. So step number two, we are speaking about tax returns and your credit. When we speak about credit, we are speaking about your business credit, your payday score, your Equifax business score, or your Experian business score. That's one, but also your personal credit score, minimum 600. The third thing I want you to do right now, if you are listening to me, hey, 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 I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me. You know, I, and anytime I see those things, sometimes we get like nasty comments. People just looking at, you know, this guy's talking bullsh. He's talking bullsh. Listen, <laughs> listen, banking is important. I know when I say these things, this is unconventional to some of y'all. And you want to throw some hot Tabasco sauce on my face because you don't like the, the, the sound of what I'm telling you. But listen, I want you to succeed. I want you to get the Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card if you're a single member LLC. I want you to, to walk your ass off to the nearest branch and, and proudly receive your 25,000 Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards card. That's what I care about. The rest, I really don't give a sh. I don't give a sh. Okay. So banking is banking is quintessential. Banking is pivotal. You're thinking about I'm just gonna apply. I'm just gonna apply for a credit card. I don't need to have a banking relationship. You sure do. You sure do. Okay. Are you listening? Hey, hey, hey! I'm talking to you. Why are you walking away? Why? Listen, <sighs> Ooh, boy, boy, boy. We are having a conversation about the Go Biz Rewards, which is important for you. You are a single member LLC. You are the one working around the neighborhood, telling everybody, "Hey, I have a single member. I have a, an, an LLC. I'm a boss." And I'm just showing you clearly the steps you need to follow to get the note that Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card. And you're just walking away. What's up with that, Grandpa? Please tell tell. <laughs> Long story short, banking is important. Banking, when we talk about banking, we are speaking about having at least business checking and or savings with, with Navy Fed. See, I'm not, when we talk about banking, it's not about having many loans and credit cards and whatnot. No, we are speaking about deposit accounts. We are speaking about asset accounts. So you want to have a Navy Fed business checking account. You want to have, and when it comes to business checking, they have uh, three types of business checking. They have a business checking, business plus checking, and business premium checking now it's all about the size of your wallet you know if you're if you're just chilling right now financially speaking you want to go for the premium checking account but if you're just scraping by right now you, things are kind of tight and you know trying to if things are really hard for you i want you to go for the business checking but you got to have a relationship at, at, the, at the business level you want to have a business savings account too because you never know things you know this world is complicated you never know so think about getting a, a money market savings account a jumbo money market money market savings account or a jumbo MMSA MMSA premium, but it's all about the size of your wallet. Again, so son, daughter, mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, I, I'm just talking to the whole family here. I want you to bring this shipment to the shore. I want you to finalize this thing. If you want to get the Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards, you want to establish a positive, conducive relationship with Navy Fed. At the individual level, but also at the business level. Let us talk about the your personal financial statements. You know, because they're gonna they're gonna ask you. You're probably thinking, "Oh, what what is this guy talking about?" Well, listen, your personal financial statements are important. Why? Because when you have a single member LLC, 
there is a confluence there is a confusion between your personal affairs and your business affairs i don't care if you will read books about yeah an llc llc but you know preserve preserves you an llc sort of covers your ass in case there's a problem yes that is true that is true but the irs of all institutions calls something they have something called disregarded entity in other words you're not really an entity if you're a single member llc in the eyes of the government in terms of taxes so they're thinking of you as, hey, listen, if you don't elect to file as a partnership or as an S corp or as a C corp, by default, you are treated as an individual. In other words, you have to file your um, your income and expenses on your Schedule C form 1040. What I'm trying to say here is that Navy Fed adopts the same strategy. They are thinking the same. They have the same philosophy looking at your ass and saying, hey, listen, this person, they may have a business, whatever, you know, whatever, but we want to check their personal financial history, their personal financial stability. That's why they're asking you to provide your personal financial statement. So when we talk about financial statements, we're speaking about what? At the personal level. I'm speaking about your assets. Son, do you have assets? Or are you currently broke? Don't be shy. Are you broke? No? Yeah? Hmm, okay. Your assets constitute whatever you own. Okay, I'm talking about account balances, savings, certificates, money market accounts, investment balances, stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, bonds, annuities, whatever, retirement accounts, 401k IRAs, real estate, valuable personal properties. I'm talking about vehicles, boats, jewelry, and have you, and what have you. So it's important to understand that your liabilities constitute the other side of the equation, the balance sheet equation. You have credit cards, student loans, unpaid medical bills, or unpaid taxes. Now, there is a strong correlation a strong a very strong correlation between your assets and your liabilities that's your net worth the correlation the common denominator of those two elements is your net worth because your net worth is e e equals your total assets minus your total liabilities now why does navy fed of all institutions care care what do, does they care about what do they care about your net worth because if they're giving you a credit card they want to make sure you will be you'll have the the monetary capacity to repay whatever you charge on the card. Simple as that. Okay? So don't get mad, get smart. Let's talk about another way, another hack that you need to implement today. I want you to do this today, son. Don't you walk away and just sit in there lethargically, not do anything. I want you to get up, get your ass up, and do something very serious about this. You want to show Navy Fed that you have a legit LLC. You know, the funny thing is, <laughs> you know, the funny thing is a lot of folks just, just walk around. You see them in happy hours on Thursday night. You know, they talk about, well, you know, I'm just chilling right now. I have my business. And you ask them, do you have what kind of business you have? Well, I have an LLC. Okay. And what do you do? Well, I'm doing this and doing that. But the problem is the legal foundation, the ju the judiciary foundation, the 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 regulatory foundation of this LLC is just doesn't exist. Because if you, to to have a legit LLC, you had to you got to have a legal structure. In this case, you have an LLC. But I'm talking about making sure the LLC has good standing, because you could probably just file like an LLC five years ago, ten years ago, or whatnot. And, uh, you know, the last thing I know is you have not touched that LLC in the last 10 years. What's up with that? You've been lazy or your procrastinating ass that hasn't done anything, you know, and, and you just walk around. Yeah, you know, I, I have a company. Your company is inactive. If you haven't done anything, your company is inactive. So, so to, to resuscitate that company, you need to have something called a registered agent. You need to comply with state and federal laws. You need to file tax returns. You need to have a, a certificate of good standing. And Navy Fed is going to ask your ass to provide that. Okay, they're going to ask you. So you got to have licenses and permits, articles of incorporation. In this case, it is articles of, of an organization because incorporation is for S Corp and C Corp. But for LLC, it's articles of, of organization. You got to have uh, your operating agreement. You got to have licenses and permits. You got to have a business address, phone, website, what email, whatever you have to have so that Navy Fed sees a distinct a distinction between your personal affairs and your business affairs because before they give you the navy fed go biz rewards credit card they better make sure that you indeed have a business son daughter this is this is what it is so don't get mad get smart
Big decision time. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a legit LLC? Don't you try to razzle dazzle me? You know, I know whether or not you have a true, a legit LLC. If you don't, take today the steps you need to take to legitimize your company to make sure you are on the right side of the law. They are important. I'll be right back, but after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about the Navy Federal Go Biz Rewards credit card and how to get it. And I was just talking to you about all the hacks that you are you really need to implement today. If you are trying to get the card and especially the high limits, because people talk about, well, $25,000 is the limit. It's not the limit. We got business clients who have $100,000 in terms of this, this uh, business credit card limits. You know, the funny thing is some people, they believe that their, their unique situation can be generalized you know like if you have a tiny ass credit limits you think everybody has has, has to have that limit because you you're not even thinking that this is because of your situation okay so th that's just yeah so let's talk about projections projections are really important because if you don't have a, you can have actual results but you also need to have projections if you are trying to convey a message of uh let's say optimism what we call economic optimism to Navy Fed. In other words, your actual results are not really that great, or they are, but you're trying to show Navy Fed that, that, that three years from now, five years from now, your company's situation will be better. That's when you are preparing, or you have someone prepare for you, projected financial statements. I'm speaking about a statement of cash flows, I'm talking about a balance sheet, a projected balance sheet. I'm speaking about a projected statement of income, also called the P&L. And also you need to have a statement of owner's equity because you are, you are a single member LLC. Navy Fed wants to know that they want to make sure that you have skin in the game. In other words, what is your equity in the business? Are you just trying to get cash from other sources? What have you personally, you, you, what have you invested in the business? So. Navy Fed wants to see your ability to attract the funding that you need in order to accomplish the financial results that you have uh, put in your business plan. I'll speak about the business plan later on, but this is important. Okay, so projected financial statements are very important. They are going to help you get the Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card and a high limit at that. Very important. And listen, if anything I'm talking about sounds like a, a foreign language to you. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It means that you are not versed in matters of financial accounting and reporting. This is fine. Nothing complicated. You can hire someone. Hire someone to do it. You can hire someone someone locally. We have said this before. You can hire someone. There are, there are specialized websites where you can hire accountants, very competent accountants, you know, CPAs and whatnot, who can help you prepare projected financial statements. They are in compliance with US GAAP, US Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Let's talk about, the, let's talk about the last thing you can do if you are trying to get a, a high limit Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card and if you are a single member LC, you gotta have a business plan. Oh boy, you gotta have a business plan. I don't care, I don't care how you do it. But you got to have a business plan. And I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Don't you try to show me a cheap ass business plan from the Internet that you download because there are a lot of websites that claim to have business plan, quote unquote, templates. And you just go on that on those websites and you just download a, a, a template and you're trying to like, you know, trying to customize things around, you know, put here, put a number here, put a two numbers there and change the change your, the, the name of the company. And voila, you think you have a business plan. Whew. That's just if you do this and, and I don't care if you hit my ass, I'm telling you, if you do this, you are out of your mind. I'm saying this again. You are out of out of your mind. You know why? Because you are asking Navy Fed to give you twenty five thousand dollars in credit limits, and you have you you don't care enough to invest two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars in a business plan. What's up with that? 
Hey, hey, what's up with that? Are you going to get off and really be serious about getting the business, the business plan that you need and you deserve so that you can, sh you can show some seriousness? We got to have passion here. When we are trying to apply for a Navy Fed, Gobi's Rewards credit card, and we are a single member LC, we need to really want it. We need to want a high limit. I don't care how you get it done. You can hire someone locally. It's the same advice I gave you for the for the financial account, uh, financial accounting and reporting section. You can hire someone locally. You can hire a professional firm. There, there are firms who write business plans as a living. They, they, they do this every day. You can you can have a um, business plan software. You have GoBees and you have Enloop. You have SmartBees. There is a constellation of business plan software tools you can use to write your business plan. And I'm talking about a professional, compelling business plan. That's what you need, son. That's what you need, daughter. That's what you need. Okay? And uh, Or you can just hire someone online, too. There are a lot of platforms from Fiverr to, uh, to Upwork to TopTal to uh, Freelancer.com where you can find very competent, very, very competent, very intellectually agile writers who can understand your business and write a business plan for you for $150, $200 maximum 250 and that's what you want again that is if you have no idea how to write a business plan you have no idea what a company synopsis is what a market opportunity is what a revenue model is what a team overview is you know if, if you have no idea what differentiating factors mean if you have no idea what target audience mean if you have, you have no idea what user acquisition and marketing strategy means if you have no idea what i'm talking about sound door it's about time you actually hire someone to get the job done for you. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, we were talking about the hacks, some of the, the latest hacks you need to apply. If you are trying to get the Navy Fed Go Biz Rewards credit card, you want to get a high limit at that, and you are you happen to have to be a single member LC. So think about business membership tax returns think about banking think about your credit 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 at the personal level but also at the business level think about your personal financial statements think about your LLC make sure your LLC is legit I beg you I beg you make sure it is legit make sure that you have great product projections accurate projections make sure you have a business plan that's what I'm talking about God bless you thank you so much for your attention I'll see you next time but until then remember stay Marvelous.